Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Podcast World Order Prediction Show. Hopefully you just checked out our No Surrender predictions. But uh, maybe if you haven't, you're more uh, WWE geared. A, okay. Interesting choice. B, let's get to some NXT Vengeance Day. As always, I'm your host, Matt. With me today, I got Cod Sinclair. I got D White. We got a, a pretty loaded card here, or at least an interesting one, at least mm-hmm. uh, five matches. Um, and an interesting thing that I'm seeing here as the main event, I don't know if this is, I mean, it's not official, but interesting to say the least. So, uh, hey, how excited are you guys for this card? Let me just go ahead and ask this now. Mm. I'm not. Yeah, that was going to say, this is the least excited I've been for NXT TakeOver ever. Yeah. Um, other than the men's matches, I'm, I mean, I'm not excited. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see the men compete. Um, I'm not excited to see the women compete. Um, and it's not because I'm a sexist dick. Um, it's because I hate how they're being booked. I hate how we have to, you know, it, if you want to hear how much I hated the women's dun- Dusty Classic, go check us out, PWO mm-hmm. WrestleCast, live on Mondays and Thursdays. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I mean... I'll get to my specific reasons as we go, but I'm other than one match, I'll be completely honest with you. I'm only going to watch it for one match. Oh, really? I got two on here that I'm actually kind of pumped for. Okay. I'll meet you at one and a half, but I All feel right. like uh, I, let's just, let's just go on with it. And we'll yeah. just get there when we get there. All right. So what I think might open the show, we have the men's dusty tag team classic finals. MSK, Nash Carter, and Wesley, uh, formerly known as the Rascals, Zachary Wentz, and Desmond Xavier, are facing the grizzled young veterans, James Drake and Zach Gibson, uh, to receive a future NXT tag title shot. Um, I think MSK is winning this. Um, I'll piggyback off you. I'll make this really quick. Um, Triple H's tweet the other day kind of said it all. Um, to get to the finals, uh, they're making a statement. To win it all means that they have arrived. Um, they're going to make a statement. They're going to win this. Um, this has the potential to be the best NXT tag match of the year as of, as of right now. Um, but you don't bring two guys like that on and not give them the rub in this situation, I don't think. And then to to add to add a little more to that, they've done nothing but impress since they've debuted. So it'll be very exciting to watch, though. Well, I think the other part is the the wrestling math makes sense because Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch are still champions, and they are not good guys. I feel like you got to have a good guy challenger so now it doesn't say immediate nxt tag team championship no, you're not wrong you're not wrong i do but think, i but, though, I, but I see what you're saying be, now yeah i think it will be the next takeover so i think we'll get well, danny birch only lurking versus nx msk there so that would be wrestlemania weekend yes wow perfect time for that to happen okay well, I, I'm going to not disagree about who's going to win this. I guess if we, that's what we're doing right now, right? <laughs> but um, also, I, I think one of the positives from if it happens, now we're all, we're, 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 we're me speaking as if it already has, but um, I like that they're sort of acknowledging that these guys were pretty accomplished as a team before they got there. You know, it's not one of those yeah. where we brought, we brought you in from you know, we were nobodies. Yeah, they're gonna pretend no one knows anything you did. Like, I mean, just, just think of a perfect example. And I don't know if you get there. Is Shinsuke Nakamura? But I mean, they made a big deal out of Shinsuke Nakamura. But Shinsuke Nakamura was one of the five best wrestlers on the planet. And then instead of putting him on the main roster, they brought him to NXT. You know, so I think where it's more appropriate here with these guys, I don't I, giving them a fake name, pretending they didn't exist before now is, is not a good idea. And so I think that we can affirm that with them winning the Dusty Classic. 
All right. Up next is the NXT North American title match. It's Johnny Gargano versus Kushida. Gargano defending his North American title. And much to my frustration, I believe Johnny Gargano is walking out with the North American title. Kushida has been booked too strong against this, um, which usually means some kind of chicken shit is going to happen here. Shenanigans, as we've been saying. Shenanigans. Yeah. Um, Vince hates foreigners. Johnny Gargano is winning. Oh, wow. That's just, you went straight for the racism. But you know. It's bit, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord. Well, I guess you're also in agreement there, Dwight. Yeah, well, and I think that unless they were going to do, you know, make this go a little longer, it's going to depend on whether it's going to toss Kushida to the side and this is just a time filler. Um, I think it is, unfortunately. I think it is, too. And Kushida deserves better, but hey, I think he's, I think he's signed up for the payday. I don't think he cares one way or the other. So. Yeah. I still, um, I still miss New Japan. Yeah, the only thing you know, and, and this has been an okay story. Um, they kind of rushed the um, fake, the, the fake injury angle, I think a little bit. Mm-hmm. I think you needed probably about another week or two to kind of build that up to kind of, to, to kind of make it seem a little bit more realistic, I guess. Um, uh, how did they start doing that? I know. Right. Uh, um, they decided to do it on Tuesday. So that's yeah. why. <laughs> Uh well well, well yeah <laughs> I think I think on Tuesday you put it on you know you, you get on Twitter oh he can't go so Theory's gonna wrestle on Wednesday Wednesday oh wait we just swerved you it only took us twenty four hours like it, it like it's it, I mean it's kind of insulting to be honest with you well you said not me I also feel like Kushida's kind of being overlooked here obviously they want to go towards Dexter Loomis versus Johnny Gargano. Um, they've already just been putting this out there. Oh, Kushida. Uh, all right. Up next, Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez are wrestling in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic on the winner's end versus Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart for the WWE Women, uh, for a shot at the WWE Women's Tag Team titles down the road. I believe that this is going to be Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart. I've explained why in a lot more detail over on the on the WrestleCast that you can go and hear and be a part of. Uh, but mainly, I believe Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart aren't long for NXT as well. Uh, and I think this is going to be how they push them up towards the main roster when they win the women's tag titles off of the imploding uh, Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you did it wrong though because you can check how I feel about the Dusty Road Women's <laughs> Classic on PWO Wrestlecast Mondays and Thursdays live on Facebook and the YouTube. Um, but you're one hundred percent correct. Um, this will um, this will push them to the main roster. This will get Raquel Gonzalez in more of a singles role. Um, it'll split her and Dakota Kai up. It's it's chalk here. Yeah, and that's also my main thing is that I, I believe that Raquel Gonzalez is going to be uh, competing for a women's title singular single belt for NXT come the next takeover. I don't believe that's going to be – she's going to be in a tag team match for it. So that's just my thought process. D. White? D. White. Maybe we lost D. White. Frozen in time over there. Kind of like Kushida. Oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> there it is, D. White. And that's what I say about that. <laughs> oh, All right. So are we still on you telling me about why the Dusty Rhodes Women's Classic could have just simply been this match? No, we're, we're just uh, giving our predictions on who's winning it. Well, okay. Well, I'm just saying that that it's going to be Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart, and the rest of the tournament was unnecessary. They could have just had this match. Fair. It's fair. Mm-hmm. All right. Now to not the main event, according to my source here. 
Finn Balor is defending the NXT Championship against Pete Dunne. Good old Peter Dune. So let let's let's get this out of the way. If this isn't the main event, what the hell are we doing? Okay, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll I will go on the Pat Lilly esque tan, tangent here. Oh, um, no. <laughs> I don't I don't understand why two of your strongest NXT male male competitors who are more than capable than putting on a five star classic in this match are going to play sec- second fiddle to Io Shirai who has held the title a little bit longer than she should. Tony Storm, who just came back a little while ago, got quickly eliminated from the Rumble, haven't been really doing much with her. And then Mercedes Martin Martinez, who was a part of Retribution for a hot minute. And I was like, nah, we'll bring you back down to NXT. So now we have this hodgepodge tr- triple threat that's thrown together as the potential main main event. And this match is going to play a second fiddle. Absolutely, this is why NXT gets buried in the ratings every week. Woo! How do you really feel? Now, hey, you let me, hey, let me let me let me tell you to make it even harder. Um, Tony Storm was quickly eliminated from the Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. It also reported that Tony Storm was an alternate. <laughs> like she was. That was a last. <laughs> that was a last minute thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Kaylee Ray can't even smell the states. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry to Shanghai that, but go, but go ahead. Yeah. Well, let me go ahead and tell you guys why Finn Balor is going to win here. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, because it's going to be Finn Balor versus Karrion Cross at the Takeover before WrestleMania. Right. And as much as I would love to see Peter Dune face off with Karrion Cross. For the NXT title, I think they're gonna hold that one off for maybe a Wednesday beforehand. Um, man, really feels like everyone who was involved in the Pat McAfee angle kind of fell off the face of the planet here. Yeah, anyone else? Yeah, God sucks too. That was actually good. Yeah, they they couldn't even segue it to have maybe somebody else within the group take the reins or a fifth member or another mouthpiece. Oh, I don't know. Um, maybe somebody who has recently been with Indu Share. Mm-hmm. Maybe Kurt a, Stallion. Maybe mm-hmm. a Malcolm Bivens in this role would have been excellent. Um, yeah, well. But, well, but no, I, I completely agree. <laughs> Honestly, it, as you're saying all of that, Ryan, you know who I think would be the perfect person to lead that group, the former uh, Pat McAfee group, would be Finn Balor. Swerve. <laughs> I'm just, you know, it'd really, be too I, sweet. It would, it would be, be too sweet. Would yeah. they? Would they be bulletproof? Yeah, I don't know what they would be, but you know, from being <laughs> kind of nothing a, to lose. You know that that I think that would be a. It would be super, you know, compelling for him to lead a, a faction of people. Oh my gosh, do you think that could work? Uh, I think it's possible. I, I I don't know how much practice he has with it, but maybe, just maybe, it's possible. He's the prince. He's uh, the prince. Yeah. So Finn, Finn Balor's retaining here for me. A- anyone yeah. think otherwise? No, yeah. this is going to be a barn burner. Somebody will be hurt in this match. Um, if this isn't a four and a half star match, it's just a disappointment. Yeah, true. Uh, this is all the good? makings. It could be a five star match if they if these guys actually go and they give them the time to, which I think they will if it's the main event. Now, once again, I don't know if this is or not. Just the the, the source I'm looking at says the main event is not it. So I I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Well, if, if it makes you feel better, uh, the CBS WWE ha- they have that as the last match on the their Finn Balor and yeah, Dunn. Finn Balor and Pete Dunne. That's what they have it as it listed up. But I, who knows? God, I hope so. Well, we'll find out tomorrow because right now for the other match, it looks like that I have listed as the main event, but potentially not the main event. It's Io Shirai, as Ryan's already said, defending her NXT Women's Championship versus Tony Storm and Mercedes Martinez. Uh, I think Io Shirai is retaining here because she has a date with Raquel Gonzalez at the next takeover. 
Um, that's exactly what it is. Um, there's no reason for a title change here. Not a, not a drop, especially since either you're going to get that at um, maybe there's an NXT special next month in March before Mania, um, or you're going to really strap the rocket to Raquel Gonzalez and give her the bump at Mania weekend. Um, I don't know if she's at that level yet. Um, it's very poor booking and poor timing here. Um, you know, it, but, but, but you don't have a better option, unfortunately, um, no, because there's been no, there's been no build. There's been a build. It's just non-existent. Mm-hmm. You know, and, that, and, and, and that's the sad part because Tony Storm could be a women's champion. Mercedes Martinez can be a women's champion. Um, you have people in the finals of the women's point, pointless dusty classic that could be women's champion. <laughs> but I, I, I was wondering, um, like, you could you be a little bit more clear of how you feel about the Dusty Classic? I just, <laughs> it's yeah, not I'm, the women's though. Well, it's not the men's though. It's the women's that I don't, right. that I'm just completely in disagreement with. But um, I I really think there's no point for a title change. Io Shirai needs to retain, um, unless there's something I'm not seeing. Yeah, that's kind of where I am. I'm trying to find if there's any way else. I feel like Io Shirai needs to be present at WrestleMania. That's my big thought process. I feel like the company needs her way more there right now than in NXT. Um, I mean, I've already said this before. I think now is the time you need to reshuffle NXT. You need to, A, move some people up, move some people out. Uh, and let's rebuild some of the women's division here. Io Shirai has been holding it down for so long. It's time. So um, here's so here's my final thing on it. I feel like they might just Oscar her. And she's held the title for a while. And there's no real credible challenger, unfortunately. I would still say I Raquel. Mean, I mean, she is, but is, but is she WrestleMania weekend worthy? Um. Man, I mean, she, she's she beat Rhea Ripley, who's coming up on there in the last woman standing. She pinned mm-hmm. Io Shirai in War Games to win it for mm-hmm. her side. I think there's an argument there for it. You have yeah. it, it kind of like how we talked about how Bel Air uh, has been subtly set up to win the Rumble here. Yeah. I think Raquel Gonzalez has been subtly set up here to take over as the dominant champion in NXT. Um, they're gonna need to find and build up some more women on the roster, I think. Um, mm-hmm. But I do think there is a lot of interesting characters who can come in. Um, man, okay, also, I'd like to put this out there. How great – well, no, you probably couldn't because they'd have to – they'd probably have to lose. But you have Tian Sha and Zia Li starting up right now. And if you did this maybe three, four months ago, they could have been a part of the Dusty Classic for the women's. Mm-hmm. Even if you have them lose by disqualification, it's still something. It's another established tag team. Um, yeah. Sorry, you got me going on that. But I do think yeah. Xia Li and Tian Sha also are going to be future big part, a big aspect of it. I'm curious to see if, because Tian Sha is Karen Q, from my understanding, who's mm-hmm. trained to compete. I'm very curious if maybe she is the she's the champion or is Xia Li going to be the disciple champion, you know? Um, yeah um just to look back in the nxc women's lore um io shirai's at 250 days right now as reigning women's champion um shana baszler had a 416 day reign did she really um her her second reign yeah wow Um, (laughs) that oscar seems unbelievable yeah oscar had uh 522 i knew that um Bailey had 223, Sasha had 192, Charlotte 258. So they're they're very good with with kind of protecting the status of the NXT Women's Championship. I think the issue is, you know, through through those title reigns, they had more depth on the roster. They had more credible depth and more credible challengers to the title, and they were being booked correctly. Um, here. As I said, um, just just no build, no credibility um, at the moment. Um, another 
thing to think, and then I'll pass it to Dwight because I know I'm rambling a little bit. Um, Rhea, Rhea Ripley, um, that could be your uh, that could be your Mania match. Maybe, from my understanding, she is on the main roster now. Where? Uh, I'm being told she's been brought up. Every every report says she has been. They also just did a photo shoot with her for main roster. Uh, well, then disregard. I haven't seen her on a main roster show. I mean, outside of the Rumble, I haven't seen her on a main roster show. So that's yeah. the only reason why I bring it up. Um, but here's the other thing. You know, um, what, what what's her face? Just won just won the rumble. Um, Bianca Bianca Belair has not made her decision yet. Um, no. Could she pull a Charlotte and challenge Io Shirai? I'm gonna say no because I think they've already started hinting her versus Sasha Banks on SmackDown yesterday. I agree, but let's not forget this is also the company where you know the guy that runs the place wa- walks in the day of the show rips up the show and writes it on the spot. I don't think so, you're wrong. I I think Mania, I think they have some matches kind of written down for what's going to be. They just might not know who's uh, going to win them yet. Yeah. I'm just over the mediocrity of NXT, unfortunately. True. And I, I, I'm going to go off of what you were saying. I think, and, and that sort of leads to my um, comment it sort of regarding what you're talking about, how they've done things pre- previously, this new and just staggeringly mediocre NXT product, it, it's not what NXT used to be, right? It used to be there was a sort of a linear trajectory where you work your way up, you get to, and when you're the champ, the next stop is main roster, right? Like that's what, that's mm-hmm. how it was treated. It's different now. You've got people going down. I mean, do you think about it? We talk about previous champions. I mean, heck, we'd have a previous champion in a tag match earlier in this in Ember Moon, right? She was went up to the main yep. roster, got injured, she came back down. We've got, you know, the, you, you seemingly don't know who's there from week to week. Like you said about Mercedes Martinez, she's going up with Tony Storm, an alternate for the Royal Rumble. You know, I mean, it's, it's just like very unorganized. Which is yes, not not, a, not very characteristic of them. Well, and it's not what the point of NXT was supposed to be, which was to train that next, you know, it, it was supposed to be a logical progression of to be the new stars. And, and I mean, NXT initially meant next, right? These are the yeah. ones that are, that are next. Well, that was the whole point of it. And now we're not doing that now. It's just a third show. It's ECW, WWE, ECW, where it's, it's just, it's, it's their B, it's not even the B show of the main roster. It's, it's its own C show, right? And they treat it like that. Now, we know that, that, that in the past it's been different, um, but, but that's what gives us all this nonsense of like incoherent storytelling of what's next and what makes any sense. And you know what, with that said, Tony Storm could be a champ. She's not ready. Um, Mercedes Martinez could be a champ, you know, tomorrow she could be, right? But the thing is, that's not what they're gonna do. I think they're going to keep it on um, Io Shirai in this. You're going to have cause somehow Tony Storm and Mercedes Martinez to get, you know, argue and it'll cost them the match or something crazy like that. And then they'll, and if Bianca Belair does, I would love to see that where she cashed in, came, I mean, took her, her Royal Rumble win, came out, won the NXT belt, and then just was the next dominant champion. Because that's what should have happened anyway. They sort of skipped over her. Um, but that's not going to happen either. We're going to get an, a not ready Raquel Gonzalez is, is not, she's not ready. She's not as ready as Tony Storm. She's not as ready as Mercedes Martinez to be on the top of the card. Um, I, even Dakota Kai, God, I can't believe I said that, but you know, as far as, you know, having a long-term story, but um, something needs to happen. And her name is Tessa Blanchard. So <laughs> piggybacking off of that, um, could they I'm 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 kind of intrigued you brought up Dakota Kai because um one of the things I was thinking of is they could Shawn Michaels and Diesel this and they could have Dakota Kai be your next champion for a while have Raquel be the heavy and then that's how you get Raquel kind of less less green Mm -hmm. a little bit more used to what's going on and then get the turn put the title on her but mm-hmm. it, no, and to Matt's point, it's th- this is 
th- this is why we go on tangents and rants. It's so unorganized, and I, 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 we we might just be spoiled though from we what NXT be. is from what NXT has done in the past, from what AEW with with the men are doing now. Mm. Um, but to be more specific. Um, the NXT women's division has always been stacked. Um, mm-hmm. And it just seems like, you know, you, you compare what's going on at NXT now to even two years ago when we had that big Survivor Series run and you had all this talent and it's gone. It's, mm-hmm. it's on the main roster either – in a storyline or not being used. And there's no middle ground, right. which is really unfortunate, which is why you have the damn brand split in the first place is to give people time on their own shows to build. And they don't trust the process on the main roster. It's this is how it's going to be. And we just have to deal with it. And the one that suffers the most in all of this is NXT because, yeah. oh, they look good. Let's go, let's go ahead and bring them up. You know, mm-hmm. and that's what happens. And do I think Bianca Belair should have been brought up when she did? No, because to Dwight's point, I feel like the rite of passage should be win the NXT win women's champion, then go up. Um, mm-hmm. There was a reason why she didn't go over Shayna Baszler at at, right. at the one takeover because she wasn't ready. Um, I just think a main like a like a title a a title. Um, a title storyline is kind of your rite of passage. And none of these women on the card have had this aside from Ember Moon. Io Shirai's in it now. But it who cares at this point? Right. Well, right. You know, guys, we're, we're starting to ranch here a little bit. But yeah, we are. Because let's, this is our... Well, well, this, let's save this, that for a Thursday and a Monday, okay? Well, let's well, people, well, people well, predict not picks though, for predictions. This is what, okay, predict this. What in the world is NXT gonna gonna do next? Okay, well, I, just, what is, I feel like I've given a pretty definitive for each match on where which direction we should go or where I think it is going. Yeah, um, and, and, well, and you're right. I do think but, we're we're going on a little bit of a tangent here on our frustrations with NXT. People didn't click here for that. Well, let's go. Let's 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 put a bow on it though. Kind yeah. Of bring it around. Yeah. And th- I think that's why it's so. Uh, at the same time, on some of these, it's so simple to make a prediction, and then it's also on the other hand, some of it it's it's hard to make a prediction because it's none of it makes sense, and so it we've made our predictions of what we think is going to happen. I'm going to tell you what. Here's here's your here's your hot take for this. We are all wrong. Because there is no way to tell what's going to happen in NXT. Because although I will say the whole uh, Shawn Michaels and Diesel thing makes sense, since um, where does Shawn Michaels work? <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. And, but and and so he probably sees a little bit of himself in that, and, and that's kind of and that would be good. But 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 yeah, I, I think it speaks to the larger question uh, Ryan was bringing up was that you know this is they don't all right. Let me back up a bit and be my the historian. Okay, you think about it, 2015, 2016, when that first generation of NXT women moved up to Charlotte's, the Sasha's, the Bailey's, even if you give Paige, put Paige in that, what were they replacing? They were replacing the Divas Revolution, right? They were replacing, that. They were, they were cleansing the women's division of the Divas, right? That was what the point of it was. We got rid of the Bellas, they were gone, even, even AJ Lee. Um, Emma, uh, you know, we, that we got rid of a lot of them, right? And so Natalia becomes something different. And, and, and so now we're on to the next thing. Now what it is, it's like, okay, well, what's next after that? That's kind of where we are now. And so it was almost like an old school wrestling situation where you built up a bunch of stars. They're now the stars and that's the ceiling, buddy. And they're not going anywhere because they're not old and they're not booking the shows. They're going to be at the top of the card for a while, and we're just going to get this log jam. Some of them bouncing back down, some of them bouncing up, unless you get a sort of transcendent star. Is Bianca Belair that? Maybe. Like, she has a potential. Shayna Baszler that? Potentially. You know? So it's it's like, it's that's why we struggle with it. With that being said, um, I think of all of the wrestlers in that main, main event, 
or whatever. I, I think there's nowhere for Io Shirai to go. There's nowhere really for Mercedes Martinez to go. There's nowhere really for Tony Storm to go. And so th- th- we can talk about that on Mondays and Thursdays, but I think it speaks to a bigger problem of the, the pipeline is done. Now the, the, it's plugged. Like there's, it's, it's just a bunch of things bouncing around and who knows, and there's just not that transcendent star. Besides, besides me. Woo-hoo. Special delivery Parker over there. <laughs> yeah, D White. I was trying to think how to do my Johnny Bravo thing in there, but I do love Russell Russell House. You do you do the Tommy Gerber. No. <laughs> right. You're gonna tell me the Jim Cornette. <laughs> I can't with y'all. Uh, it always comes back to Russell House. <laughs> yeah. I can't. Guys, look, whether you agree with us or disagree with us, I hope you're excited for NXT this weekend. I hope you're more excited than we are. Because if it's your show, it's your show. We get Mm -hmm. it. Uh, And with that, uh, guys, I hope you guys enjoy it. Tell us down below what you think the best match is going to be, what your predictions are, how wrong we are on all of this. You got to tell us that. Let us know. And, uh, you know, you guys do that. Maybe we'll be able to talk about it a little bit more on Monday and Thursdays on our WrestleCast. We'll be mm-hmm. going more in-depth. We're going to review NXT Vengeance Day on Monday following uh, the show. So we're going to have plenty to talk about, I think, uh, as well sure. as we're going to talk about Impact's No Surrender pay-per-view. Uh, if you are enjoying this, I hope everyone's going to enjoy all of the wrestling this weekend. Stay safe. Stay happy. Do what you can. And with that, I must bid you all adieu. Goodbye and good night. Bang. <laughs>